I think it's a couple things. I think it's obviously talent. We have some very, very talented soccer players. It's uh, their ability to work together as a team. And what we've been talking about over the last several games is how bad do they want it. And when you combine those three as well as we have over the last six tournament games, we, we get to where we're at and we're excited. Are you guys 20-0 or 21-0? 21-0 with Saturday's win. Okay, so 21-0 and and you've given up just 10 goals on the season, so less than half a goal a game on average. Um, a lot of people love to talk about the offense and the, the, yeah. the scoring ability that you guys have, but what is it that makes you guys special defensively to yield less than half a goal a game? I think, I think you're right. That does get overlooked. We, you know, we're averaging five goals a game, but we're giving up less about half a goal a game. It's just the players back there. I got a four-year center back, second team All-State last year, and Sophia White. I've got Ryan Parrish, who typically didn't play that position, but was willing to step into to center back. And it's four seniors back there, so I got experience. And then I've got Morgan Kaiser filling in at uh, holding mid. She's had an excellent season there. So you got those five to get through. It, we make it extremely tough for other teams. Um, obviously, you're familiar to a degree with Carmel. This is a team that I think when these girls were, the seniors were freshmen. Yes. That was the state championship game back in 2018 that went into overtime, if I yes. recall. Yes, we lost 2-1. Um, what do you, have you played them since? And what do you remember or what can you use from that in terms of you know, the stage or schematically or anything that you can take away from a game that sure was a long time ago, but um, probably sticks into the, the minds of some of these players. It does. We play them each summer. Carmel puts on a summer invitational before tryouts start, so we get a chance to play, play them then. But each team doesn't always have all the girls there with vacation. Um, what I'm talking to the team about today is in 2018, we were happy to be there. We hadn't been there in a long, long time. Uh, this time it's about winning it, and we're happy to be there, we're thrilled to be there, but there's a whole different motivation this time. This has been our goal from day one. I mean, this team just has a different chemistry. Uh, we all work together really well, we know each other's strengths, and so then we play to those strengths so that we can have the best outcomes, and we also communicate really well and know each other very well, so it just helps us out in the long run. You know, you guys were freshmen when you played Carmel at State uh, in 2018. Is there anything you remember about that experience, about Carmel, about uh, Coach was saying you guys were kind of happy to be there, kind of a more business-like mentality this time around? Yeah, um, I mean, this time, obviously when we went there in the past, we knew that we definitely had a chance, but I think this year our team just has our mindset on the goal, and it's been there all year. Uh, not that it wasn't back in 2018, but uh, we are all very driven for this goal. And I mean, like he said, it's business and we're ready to play. When you take a look at uh, what you guys have been able to do at the beginning of the season, was this a team that you thought could go undefeated, some kind of state championship, could be ranked number one in the country, which is, uh, I mean, like a huge feather in the cap? I mean, you know, I knew at the beginning of the season that this team would be really special. Uh, Knew that we would be in the running for state, but going undefeated and being number one, I mean, obviously those are all like hopes, dreams, and goals, but just that we were able to do it was really like the biggest part. You know, a lot of people talk about the, the offensive firepower that you guys have had, but defensively in 21 games, you've given up a total of 10 goals, like less, less than half a goal a game. Yeah. Um, what is it defensively that has allowed you guys to have that kind of success, and what are some of the key components that have allowed you to shut other teams down as well as you have? I mean, I, I say it all the time. My defensive line is absolutely amazing. I thank them for, I mean, everything. Uh, they have been the ones that have kept the shots off so that I don't have to make all the saves that I need to and uh, they have just been working really really hard and their communication is up there we all communicate really well with each other so that we know where uh, the other team's offensive girls are just so that we can make sure they're marked and I think our bond as our back five just kind of works really well together and what is it about this team that's allowed you to get to this point and have the success that we've seen kind of game in and game out? I feel like we've been so successful this season just because we all have such a great relationship with each other and our team chemistry has really worked well together this year. And we all, we're all we all always encouraging to each other and keeping each other positive and keeping our heads up in every game that we go through.
Coach was saying you guys are averaging about five goals a game, giving up less than half a goal a game. What is it that's allowed this offense to click? I mean, I know you and Amelia both have over 20 goals and over 10 assists on the season. I feel like just like our communication as a team, and since we're all really close together, it helps us communicate better on the field and be able to read each other a little more too. And that helps really easily just connecting and working together as a team. When you look at Carmel, what do you know about them? What are going to be some of the keys Saturday down at IUPUI to, to help bring home a state championship and beat, you know, what is a historically very strong Carmel program? They're a very strong program, and they're very well-rounded, and we just need to play the best game that we can play and just give it our full effort and hopefully come away with the win. What are you most looking forward to about Saturday's uh, 3 a state championship match? I'm really excited to be the first state championship that I have been to and just being with the team and just enjoying and soaking in the moment that you're at like a state championship and you're representing your school across your chest and you're just giving it your full effort that you can to hopefully bring home a state championship for the first time in school history. You guys, you know, during the regular season, you guys blew out a lot of teams. Uh, the competition has been ratcheted up here in the postseason. I mean, even you beat Noblesville four to two, but that was a, a close match. Um, you, your games have become closer as you've gone along in the postseason. What is it about this team that's allowed you to kind of answer the bell when you do get challenged by someone else and, and kind of rise to the occasion in the, in the big platforms? I feel like our team is very competitive all around. Like all of all of the girls on our team, and we, we're always just we always want to win and. We all know that if we get down, like we don't want it to be our last game, so we really dig deep and give it our full heart that we can and really just give it all our work that we have. What is it that's allowed this team to get to this point and have the type of magic that you guys have on the soccer field that's allowed you to have all those accolades as you head into the, the biggest game of the season? Mm -hmm. um, I think it's just how we rely on each other. I mean, we work as a team through everything we do, and we just have a winning mentality that gets us through every game. When you take a look at uh, this team offensively, you guys are averaging right around five goals a game. Mm -hmm. What is it that's allowed you guys to, to click on that side of the ball and really, you know, dominate teams from an offensive standpoint? Um, I think it's all about unselfishness. I mean, if you look at all the stats, we have pretty spread out goals, and I think it's just putting the team first and realizing if someone's in a bit better position to score, then it's just laying it off, and I think that's exactly what we did this year. You guys played Carmel back in the 2018 state championship game. They got you guys in overtime uh, in what was a great match. What do you guys, What do you remember from that? What does you know, the senior class remember from that that maybe you can use this time around? Is it motivation? Is it strategy? What would it be? Um, I think it's just the feelings afterwards that, like, from losing. I think it just motivates us and just once we want revenge from it, and I think that will light a fire under us during the game and we'll come through. For you, you spent your uh, sophomore and junior season playing, you know, in the U.S. program. Um, so to come back, this is kind of like a dream season to come back as a senior and be playing in a game like this. Mm -hmm. is, is that kind of how you view it, getting to play with your sister and, and classmates? I mean, how do you approach this? Because this is kind of lined up perfectly. If mm -hmm. you know. um, I think I just view it as a good opportunity to just connect with the team that I couldn't years before. And, I mean, like you said, the, everything's pretty much aligned this year for me to be able to play. So I just see it as a great opportunity to gain connections with everyone. Final question, what do you think is going to be the biggest key on Saturday at 4 o'clock down at IEPY when you take on Carmel? What's the, what's the X factor that's going to decide this one? Um, I think it's just us being critical at finishing. Um, we'll definitely create some opportunities. I think it's just whether we fin can finish them. I mean, we have a great defensive line. I don't think it'll be a question of holding them up. It's just getting the goals in the back of the net.